Welcome back again, I'm John Shepkov. I wanna talk about your loan has been securitized. Now I know it's not a word that is very common out there, but what does that really mean? Well, when a loan has been securitized, it means that the loan has been sold on stock. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that 99.99% of the time, when you have a loan that you're making a mortgage on, whether you're buying a home or you're refinancing, most likely it has been securitized. And I'll go more into detail what is that and what does it mean. If the loan has been securitized, it means that the loan is being serviced only. Okay, so does Bank of America actually own your loan? Most likely not, it's been securitized. That means they service a loan, but they don't own the loan. You only make your payments to Bank of America, but they have to forward it to the right people <clears throat> where the loan belongs. Because after all, it's been securitized, and I'll go into more on what that means. Same with Wells Fargo, any bank out there. Now, which loans have not been securitized? Well, I'll be an example. I am a bank for a private person. <clears throat> I will tell you this. I have not securitized because I am the bank of the loan. It means I didn't securitize, I didn't sell it to on the stock market. So if I wanted to foreclose on the person that I'm giving this loan to, okay, in fact I've got two loans out, I'm a bank to people on a home, on homes, I can legally foreclose. Now, why do I bring that up when I say legally? Because there, be, there must be a reason why I'm talking about being securitized. When a home is securitized, let me tell you exactly what that means. And I'll use the example. And you can always go to my other website if you want to know more detail. I go much, 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 much the way I'm going to give it here. But you can go to savingyourhometoday.com. Okay? And again, that website is savingyourhometoday.com, and I talk about securitization. What that means is your loan is sold, it's bundled. And when I say bundled, they bundle like 500 loans at a time. They bundle them up and they sell them on the stock market. When they, when they put them on the stock market, it's sold. So what happens is, is I say loans pretend that they are carrots. And when they, when they bundle these up into that, the loans get juice. Well, when, when they get juiced, what does that mean? It means that they get sold on the stock market. Now, the question is, pay attention, when I say a loan has been sold on the stock market, does the stock market, can they legally foreclose or do a short sell on a property? And the answer is, no, <laughs> they cannot. And if you want to know, just go to my website. I teach people about homes that are being secure. Now, why do I teach securitization? I teach it because there are many homeowners that get foreclosed and that do a short sale, that not legally. The banks are ripping people off. Unbelievable. Now, what happens? Well, I'm going to give you the nutshell. Again, you have to learn, you have to go to the website to understand more what I'm talking about. But what happens is, first of all, the bank insures the loan, okay, usually for two and a half times the amount, okay. So a hundred, uh, three hundred thousand dollar loan becomes a million dollar in the event that the bank forecloses on the property. Now, you already heard me say that the loan was a carrot. The juicing was the, what, stock. So the question is this. Can you get juice back into a carrot? Well, the answer is no way. I don't care if you dehydrated that, uh, that juice. It will not look like a carrot. What am I trying to tell you is? I'm trying to tell you when the loan has been securitized, you cannot make it back into a loan. So if you can't make it to a loan, what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that the banks are ripping people off hand and fist. I can help anybody in the United States, anybody in the United States going back 2002, okay, in the Bush era, 
And that's when all the stuff took place, by the way. If your home has been foreclosed on, for example, and you have all the paperwork, the beginning paperwork when you bought your home, in other words, your, your note, your deed of trust, your 1003, the appraisal reports, the HUD one, in other words, you have all that paperwork, and you come to me and say, John, can you help me? This bank foreclosed on you. I understand that you can do a securitization audit, and, and you can help me get, get something. You, you can you know help me either get my house back, or you can help me so that I can actually sue the bank. Yeah. What I can give you is a snapshot of what happened to your prop on the loan, your loan, what I'm saying. So if you got foreclosed, for example, and the home was securitized, legally, you can sue the bank for about two and a half times. You already know that the bank not only got money off your foreclosure, number two, it also got what? The loan was insured for two and a half times. Why do they do that? Because the banks are banking that you and I are going to be foreclosed or short sale or we're going to walk away from the house. They insure the property. What am I trying to tell you? I'm telling you that the banks are, are making three to five times the amount on the money. They keep reselling the house and they're getting all this money. The bank that is doing your loan, they're the servicing, the, they're the servicing lender. They are not the lender on your loan. If they're not the lender of the loan, what are they doing? They're stealing the bank. What is it that I'm trying to say? I'm saying that if by chance you were foreclosed on and you have all the paperwork, you can come to me and I can do what's called a securitization audit. I do what's called a level three. It's the highest level you can get. Okay, you can go to my website, you can see what I'm talking about. Without the securitization audit, you are toast, is what I tell people. It's the only thing that is a snapshot of exactly what happened. It's like a camera taking every little thing, what happened. And again, I'm the only one that provides a level three for the United States only. I, I can't help people outside, but I can help people in the US. Okay, so uh, if your home was short selled, let's say yesterday, or a year ago, can I help you? No, I cannot help anybody on a short sale because why? You agreed to the lender to short sell, and guess what? The banks just ripped off everybody. You got ripped off, they made five times on their money, and you let it happen, and it's your fault, okay? I'm just gonna be, I mean, be real, real candid. It was your fault because you let it happen. It doesn't have to happen. So I tell people, first of all, you don't do a deed in lieu in foreclosure, you don't do a short sell, and you don't let the bank foreclose on you, and you don't do a cash for keys. Come to me and I will show you how you can legally get the bank and they will have to remove, if you're in the process of doing a foreclosure, let's say, how you could actually get the bank, they will have to remove the cloud off the title. Because if there's a cloud on the title, on the title, there is no loan on the on on the property, which means the bank, the judge would order that the cloud be removed. And if the cloud gets removed, what does that mean? There's no loan. If there's no loan, what does that mean? The property is free and clear. And of course, you want to know more what I'm talking about. You're going to have to go to my website that I talked about earlier, and you'll see exactly. So. When you're getting a home, when you're getting a mortgage, all mortgages, 99.9, .9, unless it happens to be a, uh, a credit union, because they don't, usually credit unions do not securitize. I use me as an example. I'm a private lender. I did not securitize it. Okay, so uh, credit unions and also um, uh, private people, we don't, we don't securitize, but 99.9 .9 of all banks, they all do it, and they put them, they usually bundle them in 500. Now, why do they do that? First of all, see, the old days, the banks would make like about five times on your money. Now, what happens is they make one and a half times the amount on your money. And how do they do that? They securitize it. What is security? It means they sell it to a stock company. If a stock company gets a hold of it, it's no longer a loan. You know that because it becomes... It's, it becomes juice. So in other words, the, the loan is the carrot, the stock is the securitizing, okay? That's what causes all this, and so there's no loan legally on that. Can you get a juice back into a carrot? Nope, can't be done. 
just go back to my website and other website and you can learn everything if you want to help yourself or you help your friends and I can help anybody in two, from 2000, 2000 basically to current right now as long as they have all the paperwork at the beginning all the 1003, the HUD-1, the application. In other words, they have to have the beginning paperwork. And if they have that, I'll help you. I can help you on that. And then I'm the only one that provides what's called a level three, by the way, uh, securitization audit. There's people who do a level one, a level two, but guess what? It doesn't show the evidence. Um, mine is the most comprehensive of all of them because it gives you a snapshot of exactly what's going on. It's the legal document. It's what you give to the security exchange when you go to the courthouse and um, you give these two documents and you can have let's say 300 that I'm going to give pages and 300 pages from the security exchange. Put those together, hand that to the judge and you got a case. You got a case. You're going to win. So if you like, please, you know, give me a thumbs up on the videos. I've got to have as many ratings and again remember for every person that you refer over, I'll give you $100, okay? I'm very good about referrals. Uh, and you can see that uh, I charge very little on, on my mortgage program, okay? So even when I give you $100, you can see I'm not making anything. I'm trying to spread the word. My, my legacy is to help as many people. Stay tuned and we'll go more into detail uh, as far as getting your, your mortgage paid off. And of course, at any time you want to get the program, you can do that. And I'll go, I think the next step I'll start talking more about that. Talk to you soon.